So I got this interesting question recently and I want to flip open the camera to share it with everybody here. Uh, somebody asked me, what is it like to be running an online business full time? What is it like waking up in the morning and knowing that, hey, you have to rely on yourself and the teams and systems and processes that you've built? In today's video, it's going to be exactly that. I'm going to be telling you what it's like running multiple seven figure businesses, what my days kind of look like. And I hope this stuff helps you out, especially if you're somebody that's maybe doing a side hustle, about to start a side hustle and you have aspirations to actually run your business full time. Now guys, if you're just tuning into the e-commerce empire builders for the very first time, I want to give you a huge, huge, huge warm welcome. My name is Peter Pru. Every single Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we release new content here and also do a giveaway. Today's giveaway winner is going to get our e-commerce empire starter pack course completely for free. So if you want to enter in to win that, all you got to do is head down below on today's video and drop a comment. If an end, if at any point you are enjoying this content, I'm providing value for you, make sure to smash that like button it helps us reach more people. All right. So guys, the question that I came across in my direct message on Instagram at Peter Pro Official. Make sure to go drop a follow. Was well, somebody asked me, what is it like doing this full time, right? You know, and I say I went on YouTube and I actually found a whole bunch of videos of people showing what they do on a daily basis and things like that. And I don't feel like those are realistic expectations. You see fancy cars, fancy hotels, and like people, like, where's the work actually being done? And you know, I hate that perception that oftentimes like gurus do because that's not what the day in and day out looks like, right? Now let me preface this, guys, and I. I don't want to dishearten anybody that you know it has aspirations to do this full time but from what I've seen and I've seen a lot of people come and go and making money online and running an online business is that most people right shouldn't be doing this full time right and, and I mean this in the nicest way possible because as you're gonna see there you know there's a lot of pressure on you right day in and day out to make sure you show up for your business showing up for your team right and a lot of that pressure I believe most people naturally aren't meant to handle it and you know I mean that in a nice way so you know if you're watching this and, and you you're on the fence on that like do the do me a favor right and this is gonna help you make a decision right this is gonna help you make a decision if you should do this full-time have a full-time job that you're running or, or you know working at and maybe if you hate it or whatever it's fine at least that's a you know reliable source of income for yourself and then start a side hustle for yourself right start a side hustle make a few thousand bucks a month for yourself right invest that money right start growing your wealth right and then make that decision for yourself but don't try and i've you know we've had students do this where they just quit their jobs and go and do e-commerce full-time like that's definitely not you know what i usually recommend i, re I recommend usually gradually kind of going into things things. Um, but you know, I get it. Some people can handle that pressure. They thrive really well when they're like backs against the wall like that, which is fantastic. That's just not me. You kind of have to make that decision for yourself. Okay. Uh, however, I do believe most people are more cut out to have it as a side hustle, make some extra income for yourself. Uh, you know, use that money to then invest, which is really the purpose of your business to make money, take the profits and invest the profits into long, you know, uh, you know, paying assets for yourself, right. And your business, of course. So what does my day usually look like guys? So it's really not the most eventful day. I actually did a TikTok uh, about what my day looks like. And like, you know, I got a lot, it had, I think it has like 2 million views at this point, which is absolutely insane. And you know, a lot of people are like, well, you just killed everybody's dreams and, and things like that. And it's because my day isn't that eventful guys. Like I'm being serious. Like it's really not that eventful. I work pretty much, you know, uh, all day long until about six o'clock where, you know, my, you know, I spend the rest of the day really with my family. Right? So here's what my day kind of looks like in a, in a nutshell, guys, I wake up and I drink 16 ounces of water pretty much immediately. And the reason I do that is, you know, I've read the statistics somewhere like hyperhydration first thing in the morning, there's like some weird story about how that's what cavemen used to do. And they'd run to the river and chug a whole bunch of water. I don't know if it actually works, but it makes me feel really good first thing in the morning to chug a glass of water, All right? Now guys, we're going to quickly flash our last video giveaway winner right there. If that is you email Peter at ecommerceempirebuilders.com. And don't forget if you want to win our e commerce empire starter pack course completely for free. All you have to do is head down below and drop a comment down below on today's video and also hit that notification bell so you can tune into the next video to see if you're that lucky winner.
After I get out of bed, obviously first thing is getting changed and then I am going down to my uh, kitchen and then I have some untapped focus, right? That's my supplement brand. If you guys don't know, I have a scoop of untapped focus and then I head down to my computer. Now I've changed my routine a little bit over over time, uh, but this is what I'm currently doing, right? Now I come down to my computer and I spend about 15 minutes just checking our Slack messages and just making sure that there are no fires, right? Um, because I want to know that first thing. Now previous I would like meditate for 15 minutes. It, it just, I couldn't do it. I, it wasn't for me. Um, I just wanted to, I, I needed to know what was going on in my business and making sure that there's no fires or anything crazy happening. I only spent about 15 minutes. I set a timer and that's it. Once I do that, I head over to my gym and I work out for about an hour while listening to an audiobook, right? I usually audiobooks I listen to are like autobiographies, things that are easy to listen to. So I get about an hour of workout in as well as an hour of an audiobook, right? After that, obviously going to take a shower. I usually like to do a mix in a cold shower as well. Really, uh, you know, wakes the body up. If you've never done cold showers, definitely try it out. And then after that, right, I'm heading back to my desk right now. Usually I'll read for about 45 minutes before that. Um, uh, but usually I'll just start working and my day usually my, when I get to my desk to really start working, it's usually around like eight o'clock, right? Around eight o'clock, I'm pretty much locked in working on my business till around you know six o'clock and you know there's not that much that happens right my days are really filled with lots of meetings right research right client work right like the, the list is kind of endless there right we're not gonna go to all the details here but like I'm working right like you know and, and really everybody in you know around my in my life really knows that that's what I'm doing really between the eight uh, hours of like eight and six now you know a lot of people were asked like hey well what about Pete like don't you eat like what it doesn't seem like you eat well I, I don't I don't usually eat till around three o'clock uh, I like to fast uh, uh, till three o'clock every single day I feel like I have my energy levels are just so amazing um, just pushing that uh, that first meal till around three o'clock so I don't even eat till till three and of course I have some breaks here and there you know uh, go I'll go for like a 20 30 minute uh, walk with my wife and daughter right just like little things like that to you know get out um, usually I'll even um, take some days off here and there go play some golf with some friends uh, network with individuals uh, and things like that but most of my day is spent working right like so you know anytime you see like us and you on our stories where we're like taking amazing trips and like you know when, when, when we went to Dubai got like the Lamborghinis amazing hotels and just like that lifestyle like that's not what I do every single day guys right yes you know a few times a year we take epic trips and we always are talking about what's our next epic trip what we're gonna do right which are so amazing but that's not what a re real life is of a full-time entrepreneur because remember this no one's gonna show up for you no you when you are doing this full-time if you want to choose to spend all your money on fancy hotels cars trips and whatnot like if you're gonna do that number one you you better have like a serious system in place that is fueling you a ton of cash to keep up with that and then not to mention like well how are you actually you know like how are you implementing some of this stuff right now maybe that's just me i personally love waking up and working on my business that's like what i do and like that's that's kind of the level of discipline that you have you know what uh dan kennedy is one of my mentors you know i definitely recommend you guys go pick up this book it's called wealth attraction and new economy um i actually just was uh rereading it and or re-listening to it. And you know, it's amazing what he said. He's like, you know, he gives a bunch of reasons what money is attracted to. Like what is money attracted to? And one of the ones that he said is discipline. Like money loves disciplined people, right? Look at if you gave like a million dollars to a person that, you know, let's say is on, on uh, you, know, uh, you know, on welfare or food stamps or something like that, right? Like most likely that person will spend it all immediately, right? Within a year, that money is gone. When a disciplined person, right, they're always thinking investing, making their money grow. Like most of my money, guys, like I try not and spend money. Like you might think like I'd go and spend a ton of money. Yeah, I buy a lot of nice things. There's like things that I like to splurge on, like watches and things like that. But like for the most part, like my number one priority with money is investing my money, right? You guys have seen a glimpse of that on some of the content here on the channel, right? And I recommend you'd be disciplined yourself because especially when you're doing this full time, there's no one gonna, you know, force you to be at the desk, right? There's no one's gonna be forcing you to do a project that you're, you're, you're procrastinating on. You are on yourself. And this goes back to the reason that I said at the start of today's video was why most people aren't cut out to it because most people aren't disciplined. Like most people aren't disciplined. Most people don't want to be, you know, they say, you know, you could go up to the average person 
Um, and this is another thing from Dan Kennedy. He's just such a such a legend in my in my eyes, and really like the, one of the only people I truly learn a, a so much from. Um, he's like, when you walk up to a random person and say, hey, are you, do you want to be rich? Pretty much everybody's going to be like, yes, I want to be rich. I want to be rich. And you ask them, well, what are you doing about it? Most of them are doing absolutely nothing, right? And that's just the way it is. Most people don't want to start a business. They'll say they want to start a business, but they don't want to actually want to start a business. Most people want to lose weight, but they ain't actually putting in that effort, right? Most people want to, you know, do things in life and travel the world, but they ain't putting in the effort, right? Because at the end of the day, we're all human. We have these, you know, we are creatures of like habit, so to speak, right? So you have to like break those chains, right? To become that person that you, you want to be, right? There's, this is one exercise I talk about in our mindset shift modules. Like there's a version of all of us out there, right? There's a version of me that's a billionaire, right? There's a version of me that's, you know, poor, right? There's, there's a ver versions of all of us, right? There's, and they're obviously all in between a sliding scale, right? And it's about like fitting in the pieces to make that happen. Right, like, and that's what it is, right? It's all, that's what life, in, in my opinion, is. It's like about fitting it, creating a puzzle for yourself and putting all the right pieces in the right pot, uh, uh, spot, which creates, you know, gives you good health, you know, good relationships and good wealth, right? Because at the end of the day, like, what else do you need, right? And a lot of people get that order mixed up, right? They often think, hey, you know what? You know, I'm gonna derive my happiness from money. Don't get me wrong, money's gonna make you happy, right? But the, the, honestly, like, what's the most important thing in your life, right? Your health. Right? Without your health, you ain't no amount of money is gonna, you know, uh, make you happy, or 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 or, or relationships. Right? Your health is most important. Is your relationships are second most important, and then your wealth comes in. Right? But everybody wants to do it backwards. Right? And and this is why I go into even our build system and what I do every single day with our build system, our daily six. If you're in the academy, just go watch that. We also have some videos here on the channel where I talk about like our build system, our our, our daily six. So hopefully, guys, this gave you a little bit of a glimpse into you know what my days will look like. And you know I love it. I wouldn't change it for the world. Right? I get to enjoy building something out of nothing. Right? Like it's amazing to even see what has happened to e-commerce empire builders, guys. Like five years ago, what there was, this didn't exist, right? And now, you know, we fit over a thousand almost uh, YouTube videos on the podcast, on the YouTube channel, have 30 plus people working here, have tons of amazing clients that we work with, students, and just, it, it's amazing. It's so fulfilling sometimes for me. I take a step back, especially, you know, when I'm feeling like, you know, stress and like there's just so much sometimes that, that we're working on and projects and, and things like that. Sometimes you just have to take a step back, right? And, you know, just like, you know, take some deep breaths, of course, but like, just think about like how far you've come, right? And oftentimes it's that obstacle that you kind of have to lean into, right? As they say. So guys, I hope this was, uh, you know, an informative sort of video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. Also hit the subscribe button. Don't forget, also drop a comment down below on today's video for your chance to win our e-commerce empire starter pack. Guys, have a fantastic rest of your day and remember your empire starts now.